Hello beautiful souls, I am awake and so on. Today we're going to be reviewing Bitcoin as I show you how I set up my trades every day. First thing is coming into the chart and erasing everything. No emotions, no expectations, understanding that there's a flow in the charts, right? I believe everything's energy and the energy is transferred onto the charts. If you erase everything and set your charts in a line setting, you're able to see a nice flow being made. With this being said, let's go ahead and start. First thing is, based on my strategy, the way I do things, I like to start everything in my monthly. I do use the 1226 EMAs. I am in a log scale. And I always use the index chart. Take it or leave it. First thing I'm gonna do is one touch, two touch, set my trend lines. One touch, two touch, and everything's color coordinated. I do use the chakra colors. So my monthly will be red. So a quick trend line there. What is this telling me? It's telling me that price action broke down a major monthly trend line and possible retest of this monthly trend line. So as a day trader, our focus is to set your range. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna look at the previous candle and set my highs and my lows using candle open and close, not using the wicks. So that would be my monthly range. Obviously price action is way above monthly support. So in this case, I'm going to look to the left and get my resistance because I want that as a day trader. I want to make sure that I have key resistance, key support. So now we have our key support, key resistance on my monthly. Now I'm going to move on to my weekly. On the weekly, same process, I'm going to focus just on my price action yet I am gonna bring in a little bit more skills here so same process we're gonna do one touch two touches that is my weekly range okay uh, what I'm gonna do is pull the, the fifth channel and use this key monthly trend line and just from this monthly key trend line, just bring the fib channel to wherever you feel that makes sense, right? There's no science behind it. It's just go with the flow. Just wherever you think it makes sense. Uh, for me, this wick makes sense, more, more sense to me. So we're gonna go here. So with this fib channel, what this is gonna do is just help me when I go to my daily and identify key support key levels again so here you can see price action bouncing throughout this channel right it went up and now it's bouncing throughout those two channels so it's just that visual that I need to understand that this is the zone where price action is playing okay so that's telling me that if we lose this key support and we're gonna be highlighting key supports just anything around price action and this will be key resistance from my fifth channel right so this is just telling me that if we break this key support of the fifth channel and the weekly support that most likely we're coming down to our monthly support confluence with our next fifth um, channel that makes sense and of course if price action keeps consolidating here and we move to the upside breaking this key resistance right it's gonna give me that confluence that we could find some support here in continuation to the upside this is a probability game and you have to understand that when you come into the charts it's never what you think it's always you know just allow the charts do their thing and you just follow so I'm going to erase this fifth channel because it's just too much going on. I, I Again, I just use it for me to be aware of key support and resistance and I just highlight the, highlighted them. And now we're here. So in my daily same process, I'm going to rinse and repeat. 
the or range right how am I gonna do that same process we're gonna look at the previous candle and we're gonna have our resistance here and we're having our support here just using the previous candle now we're gonna move on to our daily other four hours okay so it is key also and really important on your daily to understand that this is one contraction phase okay one sum so as a trader you need to understand that this could possibly be a pattern and it's up to us to determine what is the possible pattern right we had this zone here was a one a daily contraction phase and we had a beautiful like uh, rising wedge that broke to the upside here right as it was coiling coiling and it was a 50 50 chance didn't break down it broke up simple as that so at this point what do we see what do you think it is right let's pull out our POC here let's see where our point of control is right price actions are below POC uh, where's our liquidity we haven't checked liquidity let's go ahead and check our liquidity but more than anything for me is the pattern what do I think it is so using my higher highs and lower lows that I love the number one indicator that I would recommend okay just here I'm gonna connect trend lines right one touch two touch it's gonna be yellow one two three four five so this could be a possible flag what is a flag here and again another great reason and example why I use my highs and my lows because it connects key highs key lows this wick would have thrown me off but my higher high lower low is telling me that this is the key higher low and this is our second higher low so with this being said we have a flag here beautiful we had made love earlier that perfect day so no what's the story being told here right you need to understand that again every contraction phase will tell you a story every time frame is going to tell you a story take your time and understand what are the possibilities within the chart okay this is too romantic here I can't even think. <laughs> Let me turn off my music. <laughs> I can't even think straight. <laughs> but yeah, I have to do one thing at a time. I'm trying to vibe and explain. It's a little complicated. So I'm just going to explain. So here we are on the daily. So you could most definitely Google the Forex master patterns and see what are the possibilities. But usually when we have a flag like this, usually our break will be in the fifth touch. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So telling us that we could possibly break to the upside. And again, it's just possibilities. It's a 50-50 chance. Obviously, if we don't hold here, it's going to fall right but I think this is wonderful here okay so now that we're here we're gonna move into our four hours in our four hours yeah it's gonna bounce okay <clears throat> hold on because I am trading this and I took a, a short earlier So I think I'm going to close it right now. Give me one second. I am going to close it. Okay, it is closed. Am I going to take a long? I'm actually thinking about it. Th taking a long. And the reason is based on my daily. Okay, on my daily, again, we see a flag. 
and the most likely scenario is going to be a one, two, three, four, and then the fifth touch will be the exit point of this flag. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get a measured move. How do we get a measured move? Well, in regards to a flag, you could get a flag pole measured move. Right, and actually, yeah. So this actually could come all the way. I mean, yeah. This is definitely a possibility, big possibility to have that retest of that monthly trend line, right? We're most likely at 56. 56 is definitely possible. Level to level, and you see how price action moves, right? We could get the measured move from this triangle. Okay. So the most likely scenario, if it is to push up, it's going to one, two, three, four, right? It's going to take its time, and it's going to give us new highs, new um, higher lows. Anything's possible, and of course, I could definitely just die right now and, <laughs> and go to zero for all we know. So, all possibilities, everything has to be taken in consideration. I did close my short right now just based on this, and it doesn't matter, right? If it dies, I'll just enter another short, it's not a big deal to me. But it does look bullish, I'm not going to lie. It looks bullish and uh, 56 is definitely in the cards. I'm going to go back to my 4 hours. So in my 4 hours, I was telling my Discord and it again, Twitter, if you are not following me, follow me. I'm the worst advertiser. But here you go. <laughs> I am awake and so underscore 369 and I do have a free discord and I am the queen of charts. I actually want to take this long. So we see price action up and down, up and down, up and down. And I just told my discord that this could be a possible W. We might have some divergence here. So our main focus in the four hours will be right here. We don't have divergence, but it does look like a, it could be like a head and shoulders. You see that? You see that? I see it. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Okay, I just took it. And again, there's something about this zone here that is telling me, oh, it's, it's not that it's telling me, showing me, right? Four hour trend line here. We have this four hour trend line go up here. But so this is irrelevant to what's going on now. So this is my focus. And right here, this is what I'm seeing. It's a head and shoulders. Off the bat, I mean, I can't ignore what I'm seeing, right? I am the biggest bear you're ever going to meet. Teddy bear. Call me a teddy bear. And trust me, the what I want to see is Bitcoin die to 12K, but I have to wait. I play what I see. So this is exactly what I'm seeing. And I am going to send it to my Discord community. Um, take a long... Yep, I'm liking it. I could be wrong. Like I said, I could easily fall, but I just, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. Four hours. What else do I see? Let me mark our key ranges here. This is our key support and our key resistance. It doesn't really matter because the day and the weekly is at play and they're stronger than the four hours, but it's a good habit for you to always set your ranges on the previous candle wick. I mean, candle open and closed, so you could get used to it. It's a rinse and repeat game. My one hour, 
right? My one hour, you're going to go up. We're going to go down. Okay, so to enter, I already entered just because I just did. But to see confirmation, I do have a strategy. And my strategy is based on my trend line break. It's based on higher highs, lower lows being broken. So we're going to pull out our pivot highs and lows here. I usually like it in a three or in a five settings. So I just play around with it depending on what I see. So... So what I want to say to confirm is my EMA's flipping bullish, my 1226. I want to see my trend line break, right? This would be my trend line. And I want to see key resistance breaking. So I think that that's a good enough key resistance. Because this is going to show me, right, if, if price action breaks here, it's going to hold, use this as support, and then it's going to continue to the upside. So this would be my entry. My stop loss would definitely be at previous lows. And that's how I determine my stop loss. So that would be my confirmation here. Give me a second. Everything takes time, right? No need to rush anything, especially when you're trading your hard-earned money. It is so important to take your time and chart and assess and look at all the possibilities. And we're getting closer. We're starting on the monthly. And now we're in, we are in our five minute. I also have the session indicator that I love. The session indicator tells me if the session is bullish, is bearish. It shows me where the um poc of the session is so i really really like it i definitely recommend it so as you can see here new york it's telling me this is key um, i would say a poc so i would lower my resistance to this area using it as confluence so now that i have that poc it's going to give me a great entry. So I'm going to see P price action kind of bounce here and then continue to the upside. If it decides to go up. Okay. Hmm. What else? What else? Always my 1226 EMAs. Okay, so I, I'm already in just because I know I should have made, but I've been doing this for a couple years. My stop loss are set too, so let's see. Let's see. So, what I want you to do is wait. Obviously, you know, use your strategy, respect your strategy. And wait for that trend line to break. Wait for that key resistance to break that we had previously set. Um, you're going to take a long from here. That's fine. Where would my stop loss be? So my stop loss would be right like on the day support. Right, really, really tight stop loss, and the reason is because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I will rather be stopped out immediately than wait. Right, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. I'm betting that it's going to go up, and if it doesn't, it's a 50 50 chance. And if it doesn't, I want to get stopped out immediately. But the beauty, the beautiful part of setting up a trade is that that you have that 50 50 chance so let's say it doesn't it decides to make a h here right let's say it decides to make a h and come down kind of 
consolidate, come down, give us that one more volatility push like a liquidity grab, and then bounce up, giving us that divergence too. Right. That's what I'm looking for too. Right. It's all that those possibilities that we could see because this is showing me low. So this price action is going up. So we want price action to, to come down. So that's guess that's going to be the case here. Let me see. It's going to have to wick lower. Just something to consider a possible divergence play here. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, I'm sorry, my explanations are not the best, but yeah, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's all that matters. I love you guys. Remember to do everything with love and be kind to the world.